Welcome back. A recent study on millennials who drink found that more than half of them talk about it on Facebook. It became the social media norm, and it's even spilling over into places you might not expect, like kids' play dates and mom group outings with the kids. Pam Tauscher joins us now with this week's Moms Every Day report. And Pam, not not too shocking, maybe, for some. No, I mean, it's so very accepted. People talk about it and joke about it mm -hmm. a lot online. Mommy needs her little glass of wine. The same study by the nonprofit Wine Market Council also found that Americans in their 20s and 30s, many of them parents, account for nearly half of the wine consumed in the U.S. The millennial, millennials make up 30% of the high-frequency drinkers, where drinking more than three glasses of wine at a time several times a week is happening, and that two-thirds of the frequent drinkers were women, a lot of them moms. So having that glass of wine at the end of the day or even earlier has become a huge topic on social media sites for the moms and the topic of many jokes among mommy blogging world and mommy's little helper, mommy's wine time. Experts, <laughs> though, say that the drink to relax, a drink to relax has the potential to become a bigger issue. How much am I drinking in a week? If you're only having a few drinks a week and it's not interfering at all with the rest of your life, probably not a big deal. But if you start to realize that, um, again, I can't get through the day without thinking about drinking at the end of it, or um, maybe you know your your significant other or friends or family members have expressed concern. Maybe you've tried to cut back on the amount you've been drinking before and you have struggled to do so. Um, those are some pretty big signs that you're that you know maybe you're headed for trouble. So if it gets you to thinking and you're not sure if your drinking could be a problem, you should check out the free self-test at the National Council on Alcoholism. So it does make some moms and dads, too, start to think, mm -hmm. hmm, you know, maybe all of the social acceptable talking about it yeah. does make it just a, go a little too far sometimes. I don't know if you want most people. Okay. I don't know if you want to reveal this now, but we were just joking about how stressful it's been for you right. today. It's we've had. You know, we've. I've had a stressful day, <laughs> folks. And so it is. It's the. It's what you say to many people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I need a coke with some rum, or I yeah. need a glass of wine. It's. It's. It is a very big joke among among, especially among parents who mm -hmm. have a lot of stressful times in their days. Because sure. raising babies is hard work. It is hard work, <laughs> and you guys are already working on a great show for next Monday yeah. with the topic of mindfulness. Yes. So you know, mindfulness is not a difficult thing to achieve. Mm -hmm. It's mostly just paying attention on purpose to what's happening around you. But we're going into a middle school where the students are using mindfulness at school mm -hmm. to try and become better students, to pay attention better, and it's actually having some really great results. So Maybe all of us as adults could take a lesson from them then. <sighs> Just right? breathe, yes. All right, breathe Pam. in and out. Thanks so much. <laughs> and you can catch Pam and the rest of the Moms on Moms yeah. Every Day every Monday at 1130 right here on NBC 15. We're going to send it over to Brian now who has a look at your forecast right now.